With a steady hand and a tiny paintbrush, an artist from Chowchilla has earned international recognition. Right now, his work is being displayed in the same museum that houses original pieces by Norman Rockwell and Andy Warhol. His talents may have even landed his work on the silver screen. Casey Sunrise anchor Caroline Collins shapes the story of a small town guy pinstriping his way through decades of success. First the tape, then the paint. With a hand as steady as ever, 74-year-old Craig Judd has been pinstriping for more than 50 years. His work created out of his backyard garage studio in Chowchilla, but his talents have taken him far beyond these four walls. He got his start as a teen working in a local body shop. I took to it like duck to the water. And he quickly learned to pinstripe. I, everybody else outside was playing baseball and stuff, and I'm in my garage painting on washers and dryers because it was porcelain so I could wipe it off and start over again. So I did that over and over. He began striping cars, motorcycles, even bicycles. That turned into all kinds of unique pinstripe artwork he would sell at big auto shows. It helped him get a job designing for toy maker muscle machines. These were the uh, bowling pins that I was. Uh, Assigned to do for the toy company, and I had did. Um, I think I, I think there's six or seven in the in the uh, collection, and they're still selling these on eBay, and they were in Walmart, and my name was on the back of them. That I thought that was pretty nice. And that landed his work in Disney's animated movie Cars, and the actual hoods he painted in Disneyland Paris. We walked up on them, and I I just couldn't believe it. He also did the featured car in the 1980s film Hollywood Nights, starring Tony Danza and Michelle Pfeiffer. After years of work. Dozens of international magazine covers and spreads. Two of his painted panels are now part of the American Stripes Art Exhibition, featuring the best pinstripers from all over the country. You know, you got to raise the bar when you're with the best in the world. The exhibition is on display at the Butler Institute of American Art in Youngstown, Ohio, just 18 miles from my small hometown. You can be in a small town, but you can have big dreams. Oh man, you have to be steady. Oh, you did good, Caroline. If you like what you're doing, you're going to get good at it. Inspiring others to take their skills to the next level. American Stripes will be on display through June 27th. Craig and his son Stephen are planning to go to Youngstown, Ohio next month, along with all of the other pinstripers featured in that exhibition. Caroline Collins, KC24, local news that matters. Amazing. Wow, he's yeah. fantastic. Imagine that.